What up and welcome back to another Malazan Book of the Fallen video. This time I'm super excited because we're getting another tournament going, not to see who's the most powerful mage, but to see who's the best fighter in the Malazan universe. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Okay, so I did the most powerful mage tournament to celebrate the opening up or the unlocking of my community tab, but it ended up just being so much fun and we had so many hundreds of people voting in every match that I thought it'd be fun to keep that going and try and recapture some of the spirit of that with a new tournament focused on all of the amazing fighters. Malazan has some of the most badass characters in all of fantasy. Why not pit them against each other to see who you think is Malazan's best fighter? fighter. I do want to preface this by saying that the, the tournament's probably going to contain spoilers, both in terms of uh, the descriptions of the matches, potentially, not as much, but definitely in the conversations down in the comments, because people are going to want to justify their picks. And so if you're a newbie and have a high sensitivity to spoilers, you'll probably want to steer clear and leave this one just to the vets. The good news is I'll still be putting out regular videos every Sunday, and this will just kind of be happening in the background on the community tab with some random updates on it here and there as the big results start to come in. Okay, and so we're going to tackle this the way that we did the last one, straight up bracket style. So we have 64 names. Most of them were submitted through the Discord. Actually, we got even more than 64. This time around, I want to take what we learned from the Mage Tournament and incorporate it so that we're all kind of using the same kind of criteria when we evaluate who the winner is going to be in this fight so that it's not so loosey-goosey and maybe the results will be a little less controversial. So let's talk rules. Rule number one is that there's no magic. We're not barring any mages or even ascendants or anything like that from participating, but we're really looking for a test of skill one against the other. Which brings us to rule number two, right? Is that you can be an ascendant, you can be a god, you can be an ordinary human, you know, one of the, the elder races, what have you, but you can only use mundane abilities. Your actual skills with your bare hands, with a weapon, or what have you. This is gonna be a dual setting, right? So rule number three is that there's no sneak attacks. This is uh, one versus one and you see it coming, you know about it in advance, and it's just who's the best combatant on that day. Rule number four is that any melee weapons can be used. You can use swords, you can use sticks, you can use, uh, you know, whatever, long knives, daggers, what have you, but they have to be uh, regular. They can't be invested by a god or have some other magical properties to them, just straight up regular weapons. Number five is that this has to just be based on skill alone. So again, you know, if you're uh, blessed by Oppen and you have all kinds of luck behind you, we're not interested in that. We're looking at your individual, actual, inherent, innate skill that you possess. Rule number six, and this is one that we implemented in order to try and weed out the crowd, is that we uh, have to have seen an on-screen fight with this character. There's a lot of uh, warriors out there of like legendary status like a Caladan brood or something like that but we don't ever actually see him fight on screen and so even though there's you know a huge reputation there because we had more than 64 and we had to find some criteria that is one of the things that we put on there we had to have seen you fight at least some point in one of the 23 or 27 books and number seven, the final rule is that we're looking at like mortal or killing blows, right? Just because you're a god or an ascendant, you might be able to survive having a sword go through your heart or whatever. Uh, that is not kind of the point of this. For example, Decem is patron by Hood, right? And so if Decem gets killed, he gets sent to Hood's realm, he gets sent right back and would ultimately end up surviving. That doesn't mean that Decem would win that fight. Under the rules, that would have been a killing blow for anybody else. And so Decem would then therefore go down. So those are the kind of ground rules and how I want you thinking about this when we go ahead and cast those votes. 
Now, if you look at the list of competitors, I have those here. And in fact, we can quickly go through the list of folks who didn't make the cut, some of which were because of those criteria. So if you look, these first handful, uh, Mayfly, Barathol, Maycar, uh, Braventooth, Caledon Brood, Crump, Draconis, Osirk, all hugely, uh, well, you know, to to a certain extent or another, some had very uh, strong reputations for being tremendous fighters, but we don't actually see on-screen fights between them, and so I went ahead and chucked them out. These other handful of 11 were, you know, kind of judgment calls on my part, but I had to whittle it down to 64, so uh, people like Tar, people like Smiles, who made it through uh, Yugatan, but we don't actually see a lot of actual combat from them i chucked out fisher keltath if covian both you know some fighting prowess but again whittling down to the top 64 i felt like they probably wouldn't end up in the finals you can uh excoriate me in the comments on those if you need to uh rulandaris i took out because there's not really a lot of weapons he's soul taken we do see him fight i don't know it was a tough call and, and maybe i made the wrong one uh, there. I took out Hood. I took out Grub. We do see Hood fight without being too spoilery, uh, but we don't actually see Grub fight in any type of one on one combat, although we do see him lead troops into uh, battle. Leomin of the Flails, Hanu, Hetan, Stani Manakis, those are all pretty, uh, you know, proficient warriors, absolutely no doubt. And I just didn't really have a lot of other good options. And so I tried to think who would make it into the top 64. And so again, maybe I blew it and I, I felt bad. Stani, Hatan, I, I think definitely Hanu for sure, <laughs> G'd up. But you know, again, there just wasn't enough space. So those are the ones that I kicked out. Let's talk about the ones that are in. So here they are, the 64 that are actually going to end up fighting in the tournament. And I think we do have a who's who of Malazan's most badass fighters starting in alphabetical order with Ambi and Jula Bowl, the Bowl brothers. I lumped those together because, again, I couldn't decide which one to keep in. Arguably could have thrown in Stani or Hatan or somebody for one of these. And, you know, it is what it is. Hate mail commence. Uh, we've got Andaris, Anamanda Rake, Absalar. Badlands, Blues, probably a favorite there. Brucalian, Breeze Bedict. I'm I'm seeing some in the finals, but it all depends on what happens with this draw. Coots, Korab, Cowl, Decem Alter, Dancer, Fierce Senegar, Farul, Gessler, uh, Greymane, Gruntel, Gurul. Jeez, there's some names on here, isn't there? Man, it's going to be pretty gnarly. Hellion, Ikarium, Iron Bars, uh, Jan, the Segula. Kalamakar, Kalor, Karsa Orlong, Krugava, Kiska, Kyle, Lorn, Lostara Yil, Mapo Runt, Mock, the Segula, Marulio, Onos Tuulin, Pala, Pearl, Possum, Ralik Nam, Red Mask, uh, Rel, Ruthan Good, Senu, Shimmer, Short Nose, Silas Ruin, <laughs> um, Skinner, Skull Death, Spinnick Darav, Stalker, Stormy, Surgeon Rest, the champion of Yugatan, uh, Surly, Temper, Throat Slitter, Thurul, Topper, Trots, Troll Senegar, Ubala, Ublala Pung, uh, Urko Crust, Vorkin, Whiskey Jack, and Yedan Derig the Watch. So just an amazing list of characters. And you can see hopefully now why I just had such a hard time figuring out who else to drop to get it down to 64. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drop all of the names in alphabetical order, the 64 that are in, into random.org. We've tried Siri. We've tried Alexa. Now we're going to try random.org and we're going to assign every single person from the list a numeric number. And what we're going to do is number one is going to face number two. Number three is going to face 
space number four and so on through the 64. That's how we're going to assign this first bracket. We're going to whittle it down to the 32 fighters and then we're going to redraw a, a bracket of 32 and let that be the thing that carries the fighters through the rest of the way. So first draw of 64, one versus two, all the way down to 63 versus 64. Let's go ahead and paste the names in and generate those numbers and see what kind of matchups we got. Oh my gosh, I can already see the first round is going to be crazy. Let's put these into the spreadsheet. All right, I got it all cleared up in the spreadsheet. And man, just like the Mage Tournament, the draw is everything. It has created so much drama and there's some pretty gnarly matchups. So uh, let's dive into the spreadsheet. You can see that this whole first round is full of gnarly barn burners. So uh, first fight, kicking it right off on Monday, diving in hard with the Crimson Guard matchup, Iron Bars going up against Blues. One of those guys isn't going to make it through. We've got Whiskey Jack going up against Kyle on Tuesday. Temper taking on Mapo Runt. Stormy taking on Breeze Bedict. <laughs> Callum Makar versus Gruntle. I mean, these are all epic uh, matchups. Absalar going up against Badlands. We got Dancer going up against Stalker. Lorne going up against Possum. So that's a, a battle of, of Lacine's favorites, I guess, there. We've got Yadan the Watch going up against Son of Darkness himself. How is one of those to not making it through to the second round. I think this is going to be even gnarlier than the Mage Tournament team. We got Silchas going up against Skinner, again, for the books. Uh, Shimmer versus Ublala Pung. Marulio going up against Kiska. We got Coots going up against Rel. Uh, Krugava going up against Through Rule. Lostara Yill taking on uh, some Segula in the first round. We got Pearl taking on a Segula. We got Ruthann Good taking on Surgeon Ress. That's like maybe one of the only people on here who could take on Surgeon Ress. It's a crazy bracket. Then we got uh, Topper going up against Spinock Durav. So there's a whole uh, Tist and D component to that one, I guess, creating some drama. We got Tool going up against Korab. That one's, I guess, maybe less controversial. We got Troll Senegar going up against Ferul. Um, yeah, that's going to be a heartbreaker. Skull Death ag against Brucolian. Trots up against Urko Crust. Probably a, well, I don't want to bias it, but Trots, you're my boy, but sorry, dude. Um, Throat Slitter against Fear Senegar. Man, Carsa Orlong going up against Short Nose. Cowl taking on Greymane in the first round. Hellion going up against Red Mask. That's actually a really interesting matchup in terms of one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we got Mock taking on Gessler. Uh, we got Senu taking on Gurul. Kalor going up against the Bull Brothers. Ikarium going up against Andarist in the first round. We got Ralik Nam taking on his boss Vorkin. He wondered whether he'd ever have to do that. I guess now we find out what would actually uh, happen, at least according to us. And then to wrap it up, how can this possibly be? And I didn't notice this. I'm like reacting to this in real time with you guys. But we have the rematch, the Knight of Knives rematch with Surly going up against Decem Ulter 1v1 to wrap up the first round. So these are going to be absolutely insane. We're going to put the matches up starting on Monday, kicking off with Iron Bars and Blues. And we'll just go every single day for the next 32 days until we get to that round of 32. So uh, I hope you're as excited as I am, honestly, uh, looking at this list. It's actually shaping up to be even more uh, drama-filled and suspenseful than I ever could have hoped for, and I think it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. So uh, we'll leave the video there. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, uh, buy some merch, become a member, join the Patreon, join the Discord, come nerd out with us. That's where we're going to be doing all the color commentary and play-by-play -play for this whole tournament. So, uh, yeah, 
Thanks so much. Until next time, happy reading.